lateral flow device. It is a rapid testing technology. It is very simple technology which can be used in the field. Usually this is produced in the medical field um, and they are widely using it for testing pathogens uh, in general and uh, toxins and other chemicals. Now at ICRISAT Malawi, we have produced the lateral flow device uh, to test aflatoxin at field level. I am going to show you briefly how we produce the lateral flow device and how it works. We have some special equipments to produce lateral flow device. One of the major equipment that is needed for producing lateral flow device is called a dispenser. This is that equipment and it dispenses the reagents that we wanted to put on the strip at a particular quantity and uniformly. We dispense the reagent onto the nitrocellulose membrane. There are several types of nitrocellulose membrane available in the market. We have screened many types of nitrocellulose membrane and we have chosen the one particular type which is best suitable for our purpose. The major reagents that we dispense on the nitrocellulose membrane is antigens and also the conjugates. So now you can see the required chemical is already dispensed on this membrane and it is actually dispensed uniformly which we cannot do it manually. After dispensing uh, into the nitrocellulose membrane, we also have other uh, strips where we dispense the antibody which is produced at ICRISAT and then we attach everything on the baking card and then we pack it into the cassette. Now the lateral flow device is ready. Whenever we wanted to test the sample, we have to extract the sample using ethanol and then the sample we have to put it in the lateral flow device. There is a sample well provided for putting the sample. So once you add the sample there, the sample will start moving by capillary action through the strip. So now if the sample is having aflatoxin, then it is going to bind first with the antibody. Then what will happen is we will not have any antibody available to react with the test line where we already have dispensed the antigen. So in that case, we won't have any test line developed. But by default, the control line will be developed into the pink color. If the sample don't have any aflatoxin, that means when the sample is moving, the, because there is no aflatoxin, it cannot bind with the antibody. So what will happen? The antibody will automatically go and bind with the antigen dispensed on the test line and we will have the pink color line in the test line and we also will have another line for control. This strip is particularly developed for detecting more than 10 parts per billion aflatoxin. So when there is less than 10 parts per billion of aflatoxin then that means you will have two pink color developed. If there is more than 10 parts per billion of aflatoxin, then you will have only one pink line on in the control and the test line will be absent because no antibody is available for reacting with the antigen.